Bella. Oolong tea, if anyone's wondering. Side note, this is adorable. First off, this is not my punishment video, um, where I speak half the video in Russian. That will come later. Uh, but it'll happen. Um, well, a day in your life sounds sounds lovely. Also, I saw you were reading a book when you should have been sleeping. <laughs> you have not changed. But I know what you mean. I've been up till all hours reading on my Kindle now. Mm, it's got a light. I read two books in ten days on here recently. The third book isn't out till November. Anyway, uh, currently I'm reading a book called How Engineers Create the World. And it's cool. It's a bunch of little essays by this guy who used to um, present things on a radio program. Um, little short segments about how engineering is cool and how it impacts your da daily life. But what are you reading? So you requested to hear more about Russia. Russia! Um, and I will tell you more about Russia, but not all in one go, because I've also mentioned thought from place Thoughts from Places style videos, which I really want to do with Moscow, but I'm, I'd like to do it later when I know more about it and when I have more footage. But I will tell you about my uh, most current Russian experience, um, which was my trip to the Moscow. My camera ran out of battery somewhere in the middle of filming this, so now I have to refilm. Blech. And now my tea's cold. Okay, so I went to the Moscow Museum of Modern Art. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite things I saw there. First off, I was really happy that um, all of the descriptions that were originally Russian were also in English. It's not pointless to go if you can't read the descriptions of the work you see, um, but it is so much more fruitful. One of the first pieces I saw was installation work, and the entire piece was like modular, made of this uh, one small, made of this one small building block that he created. It was simply made out of cardboard, and it was kind of beautiful. Apparently the artist was inspired by that kind of feeling you get when um, children are playing with like building blocks and how you can create your own little world out of your imagination, except it was on a massive scale and awesome. Uh, one of the creepiest things in this museum, oh goodness, I hadn't seen this before, but you walk into, you walk into the next room and it's um, almost completely dark and the walls are black, but paintings are still hung up. You can still walk through an entire gallery. Small light that occasionally just flashes like that. And then the small sign is that you can also use the light from your cell phone if you wanted to. First painting um, that you can barely see is something just with eyes creeping, staring out at you. There are like 12 eyes within the piece and then things getting murdered. It, it creeped me out. <laughs> I looked at it once and then, but it's really interesting because I hadn't seen an exhibit in the dark before. Another piece we saw was just a projected image of someone filming outside in a field, but it was inside, and there were a place where you could sit and, and just look at it. It's cool, it's kind of like what we do every day, trying to get the outside into our inside, and they, uh, but placing these two things next to each other, I thought it was really interesting. Or, or you know, maybe it's about how we don't pay attention to uh, what's happening right outside our door. It could be a bunch of different things, but it was, it was also just really calming. Just like, hey, here you go, experience this um, nice little patch of field and, so and sound of um, insects chirping and sun shining, and which isn't something you get in an urban city like Moscow. There was this really, this, there was this really odd and cute piece though. Um, we walked into this room and seeing this weird setup of speakers and this sign on the wall that just says, say I love you into the microphone. <laughs> And I don't know what will happen, but I go up to it and I say, I love you. And then um, coming back at me from some of those microphones was someone else saying, I love you, that had been recorded earlier. And it was it was really funny. It surprised me because it was in Russian, but you know, um, I should have expected that. So it was cool. I said, I love you to the microphone and then it said it back. Also, there were some really funny pieces I found. This guy is really happy in his fez. And if you like self-referential humor or jokes that are meta and such, see if you can follow me with analyzing this piece. There's this one film that I found in the museum that was hilarious to me. I found it on YouTube, and I'm linking to it now. It's a parody of a big budget trailer for a movie, but it's about a curator of a museum. It's basically making fun of how se how overly serious some things in the art world can be, and how people become popular. The subject of it is something that's very refined and highbrow art, but when you but it's done in a in a funny mocking way and but the best thing i thought about it was it's making fun of how silly things can get put into museums or how silly things can happen in museums and it's putting it in a museum i love it it's hilarious it's like not serious at all just like go watch it <laughs> some other pieces that were really fun there was this one piece that was like it was like a line drawing but but it was an installation and you can walk through it it was fun a lot of things i didn't understand and there were a lot of things that creeped me out and a, a lot of pieces that Maybe I just didn't understand, um, that I didn't enjoy, but those were some things that made me smile and uh, made me think about things, and it was really cool. It's really fun to pe see what people throw together in a museum, 
Um, I'm sorry if you didn't like the things that I showed you or you didn't get them, but you know, it's up to you what you decide is meaningful. But it was a really fun experience, and I can't wait to go back out into Moscow again. I need more tea. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. No. No, that's mean. <laughs> anyway.